Well, plenty of you know the man beside me here. It is, of course, Jim Draper. And Jim, I bet you've got a st few stories to tell about Bellius Town. Yes, uh, Bellius Town in my father's time in the 50s, when I started going racing, Bellius Town was a big thing. I mean, there weren't that many races. It wasn't that easy to get anywhere, and it was always local to us, and he always loved to have winners there. So it's been a big draper. Obviously, the, the name is synonymous with, with racing your name, and it goes through the generations. But just tell us uh, about maybe your, your successes or, or stories at Bellius Town yourself. My stories, I, I, I didn't ride very much racing, uh, for many years racing, but uh, rode a few winners there, in fact even won a chase there on a horse who I was later second on in the Grand National Horse called Black Secret. But my memory at that time that the bends at both ends were actually cambered the wrong way. And I think possibly I rode in six bumpers in whatever, 10, 12 years and got four falls. One or two my own fault and one or two trying to avoid someone else who'd fallen because on firm ground, slippy weather, the camber were all wrong. Everything sloped down to the sea at one end and back down to Duleek at the other end. And, uh, but apart from that, it was always a great... You would see people in our locality there. You might see them at Fairy House or the local point of point or Belgistown. That was it. Well, it seems to be a huge community course, especially with all the people here tonight. The, the community are, are uniting behind this book that's been written by John. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. There'll be great memories in it for people. And uh, it is, as you say, a community thing. Only happens, well, twice a year now. It's a great, a great uh, departure in recent years. They put the August meeting on because heretofore it was once a year and that was it for 12 months. But now they have the second meeting. And you know, it's, it depends a bit on the weather, mind you, but in nice weather, it's a lovely place to be. Jim, we were talking to earlier on, Jim Corcoran, saying that his, his next plan was to try and get the chases back. And he's got a new watering system and things. So you never know. You never know. Yes, nowadays with portable fences, it's not such a big problem. It's an expense, but uh, I think it makes the difference. Because people, I think Irish country people, if you'd pardon the expression, they will go to see jumping much more than they will go to see ordinary flash racing. I mean, uh, last week we were all spoiled with Ascot. It was fabulous. People would go anywhere to see that. But ordinary flash racing doesn't appeal to the ordinary Irish country person as much, uh, which is why, uh, why um, places like Kilbegan get crowds. And I think it would be a great thing if there were chases back there. We'll watch this space for that, Jim. Thank you very much for talking to us. No problem. You're welcome.